What's good, YouTube? It's your boy R. Welcome back to AM on Advice. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing right. I'm doing good myself. Today we're back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to the Timeless Tim. My first time smoking as a kid. Okay. Um. It's funny because I remember my first time smoking. Dude, well, man, anybody, nobody can tell me. Oh hell, look at this. Anyway, anybody can tell me when you first start smoking, all you used to do is hold it in your mouth. Yeah, man, I smoke in one joint. That's really good. That's how I used to smoke when I was younger. Well, when I first started to smoke. But we're gonna get into the reaction video. If you guys are new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get into it. Ugh. Taking a shit. It's time. Hey, Mom. The toy is plugged again. Again? Tim, who? This stinks. Okay, son. Go to the front and call me when a customer comes. Mmm. First smoke. I remember mine's. First of all, let me start by saying I'm not a smoker. Never have been, never will be. This is not my thing. But I'm not here to judge because your boy once dabbled in smoking. Now, we all know it's inspired by Bronny, a.k.a. LeBron James Jr. Now, if you don't know what happened to the young Bronny, Bronny, quick lesson. See, a couple weeks ago, a video surfaced on the internet of Bronny. Now, this wasn't the regular LJJ hooping videos. Mm -mm. My man's Bronny was on that good good. Fast forward a couple of weeks later, the little Bill James won the championship, and we haven't heard from Bronny ever since. Oh, now, God. just like Bronny, your boy made the same mistake. So for this story, I'm going to take you back. Back to when I was 10 years old. See, when you're young, smoking looks cool. Matter of fact, anything you can't do as a kid looks cool. So one day after school, my boy AJ and I were watching one of my favorite movies, Friday. Yeah. If you watch Friday, you know. You so know. I was like, hey, Tim, you ever smoke? Give it down. My mom's in the next room. Oh, my bad. Nah, you? Me neither. You ever thought about doing it? Mm, no, not really. Why? I think we should try it. Work? How are we gonna do that? You should get some from your parents' shop. Now, since we couldn't get some of that good good, our second option was to get a pack from my parents. See, at the time, my parents owned a mom and pop shop in the neighborhood. And one of the things they sold was a pack of cigarettes. But here's the problem. Stealing packs wasn't gonna be easy. First, I needed to find a way to be all by myself in the shop. Now, this was difficult because there's no way my parents would just leave a 10 year old all alone in the shop. Second, I needed to find a way to distract my parents while in the shop, then get the box, hide it, and dip outside and smoke it. Yeah, not easy. So I started thinking, okay, then Tim, how you gonna pull this off? Can't do it in front of mom and pops. So what should I do? Hmm. Then it hit me. See, the week before, I heard my parents talk about how much issues they were having with the shop's toilet clogging up. So I figured, that's it. It's gotta work. See, my plan was simple. First, this I needed to go to the store in the morning with my parents and act like I wanted to help around the shop. Then, all I had to do is wait for the moment I needed to use the bathroom. Then I would go to the bathroom, lay a masterpiece. Now here's the crucial part. Since my parents were having toilet issues, I needed to find a way to clog the toilet. And what's better than using toilet paper? So fast forward, I get to the store one month, and a couple hours into the shift, I suddenly feel the bubbles. And this is it. So I go to my mom, hey mom, my stomach is killing me. I gotta use the bathroom. So I get in the bathroom and start laying it down. Then after I finish, I fill the toilet with all the toilet paper and then flush it. And just as planned, the toilet clogs. Good, it worked. So I leave the toilet, get back to my mom, and I'm like, hey mom, the toilet's plugged again. Again? Tim, who? This stinks. Okay, son, go to the front and call me when a customer comes. This was my opportunity. So I get to the register, look around, and make sure the coast is clear. Yeah, I'm good. Then I grab a pack of black amount from the top shelf and put it in my back pocket. Really look good. around and act like nothing happened. So fast forward, my mom gets the toilet on clock, comes Bro, you're supposed to close the space when you move the one. So I was like, Mom, I'm still not feeling well. Can I go outside and lay in the back? 
Oh, my poor baby, what's wrong? My stomach hurts. So I go in the back, check to make sure my mom wasn't looking, took out the blacks, took out the lighter, and lit it up. This was it, my first puff. So I put the black in my mouth and puffed it this as hard as I could. black in my mouth for the first time. <laughs> You trying to dad. Damn! This thing gonna kill me. Kim, are you okay? <clears throat> yes, mom. I'm alright. So after a couple of puffs, my body got adjusted to it. So I finished my first black and fell asleep in the backyard. So fast forward to lunchtime. Not during lunchtime, my mom will close the shop and drive home for an hour break. So she tells me to get in the car and go for a lunch break. Now by lunchtime, my dad had gotten back from his doctor's appointment. So we all get in the car and start driving home. Halfway, I hear my mom say, Anybody smell that? Smells like the car is smoking. Oh, shh. Then it hit me. I forgot to do one very important thing. Brush. I didn't get any cologne to cover all the smoke smell. Now I start panicking. Damn, Tim, stupid. Why did you think of bringing a cologne? Tim, do you smell that? It's coming from the back. Uh, no, Mom. I don't smell anything. See, here's the problem. Both my parents did smoke, and if you know anything about non-smokers is, they can smell a smoke scent from a mile away. Yeah. So my dad was like, no, that's not a car smell. That smells more like cigarettes. Oh, shh. Dad, let me open the window. Wait, hold up. Son, is that coming from you? It is what coming from me? Knowing damn well, it's coming from me. But, gotta play dumb. Oh, Lord. Tim, come closer. Why? Tim, come here now. So I moved closer to my mom, and it didn't take but a couple of snips for her to figure out that I'm the one that smelled like smoke. Boy, you been smoking? No. Empty your pockets now. So I emptied my front pockets, and there was nothing in it. No, not your front pocket. Oh, no. So I slowly moved my hands to my back pocket, pull out the pockets. Boy, is that what I think it is? And thank God. My mom couldn't reach me because she swung as hard as she could but missed. No, mom, it's not mine. Get over here. This dude kept the evidence on him, bro. Uh oh, what's going on now? Commercial break. All right. My boy got catch with the evidence. Moral of the story. It's what you do in the dark that puts you in the light. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. Okay. I think that's the end of it. Yeah, that should be the end of the video. Damn, bro. You got caught. Man. Bro, at least you got caught like that. If I tell you how I got caught my first time smoking. My first time trying to smoke. I talked to my father. All right, what I used to do is right, my my story part. I used to use my father iPod often, right? And he used to let me use it. Well, I used to take it. In. <laughs> but anyhow, like he knew I had it, but he never listened. Like ran me down for it, and I remember like exam time he'll take it. But anyway, so I think I did bad in school, so he took the iPod whatever from me, and. He started going through it. Like the pictures, see, see the pictures in your inside of it. And there was a video, not one, not two, not three, but four videos of me recording myself <laughs> trying to smoke. <sighs> me being stupid, forgot to even record myself. So basically, I snitched on my own self. And remember, this is his iPod, not mine, his. So he could go to it as much as he want. I record myself smoking. Dad, look at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Boy, I was stupid. I was stupid. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wait, I almost forget. I got fucked up. If y'all thought I did not, I'm sorry. <laughs> let, 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 let me clarify that. I got my ass handed to me on a silver platter, bro. Don't think I didn't get fucked up for that. For sure I did. 
Man, I, I, it was stupid. It was so stupid. You know what I mean? But I learned my lesson. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel. Like I said, I'm sorry. Oh, Lord. Twisting and turning just like that just now made me super dizzy. I'm sorry, I'm not at my best right now, feeling well, but I'm not gonna stop, no complaining, but yeah, but hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video, smash that like button, the original video will be down below, yeah, hope you guys are new to the channel, but hope you guys have an amazing day, be happy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours, peace.